Thanks for joining us. I'm Casey Drescher. Chris Williams was the only man to roll the dice on fate and go to trial facing federal charges stemming from his involvement in a medical marijuana dispensary. The charges stem from what prosecutors called illegal operations conducted by the Montana Cannabis Group. A jury deliberated for about five hours today, and I spoke exclusively with Chris Williams before that verdict was handed down. A jury has found Chris Williams guilty of eight felony counts in a drug trafficking case in connection with the 2011 federal crackdown of Montana medical marijuana dispensaries. They're just trying to put us out of business by taking all of our medicine. It's been a volatile year for Williams and his Montana cannabis co-owners. Richard Floor died in federal custody. Then, through a plea deal, Tom Dubair was sentenced to five years probation, and Chris Lindsay reached a plea deal similar to Dubair's and will be sentenced later this year. Williams is the only one who chose to go to trial and is charged with marijuana manufacture, possession, distribution, and firearms charges. For me, I feel like it's, it's a personal responsibility to stand up for what we were doing and to have a jury look at the facts. Since marijuana is a class one illegal drug under federal law, defense attorneys were not allowed to bring up Montana state law and the Medical Marijuana Act that Chris says he was in compliance with. In the weeks leading up to his trial, he said he had faith in the justice system. We weren't breaking state law. We weren't, we weren't trying to, um, to harm anyone. We were trying to design a, a system that operated well within state laws. I would hope that they would look at it on those issues and not prejudge just on the fact that it was a medical marijuana issue. Williams now faces a mandatory minimum of 45 years behind bars. When asked if he's scared to go to prison, he answers without skipping a beat. I have fear uh, primarily that you know I'd be separated from my son and, and the